Hi everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode, we're going to do a special topics discussion on mobilizations and mobility of the patella or your kneecap. So the kneecap is what's called a sesamoid bone. It kind of is a rounded kind of triangular looking shape and it is X is a pulley system for your quadriceps muscles and the tendon that goes over the top of it. So it helps when you go to extend or straighten your knee, less force is needed from those muscles because the patella acts as a pulley to help lift the knee into extension or straightening. And it's also useful for bending as well. The patella is not attached to any muscles or tendons directly. So it's kind of this free floating uh, bone in the kneecap. Now, when you straighten or extend your knee, the kneecap actually moves slightly upward. And when you bend or flex the knee, the kneecap moves slightly down. And so what happens sometimes after surgery, after knee replacement, is there's a lack of mobility and a lack of free movement of that kneecap for a variety of reasons, and that can lead to some restrictions and be a contributor to some of your range of motion difficulties. So let's show you how to do by yourself some simple mobilization techniques for the kneecap. So I'm in a seated position here. You can also do this laying on a bed or a couch um, or a recliner or anything like that. I like to put a little bit of a bend in my knee. So right now I have my heel on the ground and a slight bend in my knee. You want your quadriceps and all your muscles to be extremely relaxed, not contracting at all, because that contraction is gonna make it much more difficult to move that kneecap freely. So really relaxed, shake it out if you need to, distract yourself, and then there's a couple of different motions you can do with the kneecap. Probably the easiest one to get the idea and feel the movement of your kneecap is going side to side, so laterally and both medially. And so I like to kind of use my fingers, you can use your thumbs, whatever seems most comfortable. And you just want to find those outer edges of the kneecap. And then you're just going to start slowly moving it side to side. You'll notice for a lot of folks going out laterally is going to be easier and move a little freer. But you'll get the hang of it. I know this might make people a little queasy, a little squeamish, but you're just gonna start moving that kneecap side to side. And there's no real set of repetitions or amount to do, but you know you can do maybe 10 or 15 going laterally, and then do maybe 10 or 15 going medially, just going side to side, allowing that kneecap to move nice and freely. So something to think about is if you cut that kneecap in half, you wanna get almost two thirds of the kneecap past that halfway line when you're doing the mobilizations, both out and to the middle. That's a good sign of good mobility laterally. Now the other movement, which is gonna be more important, especially for knee range of motion, is going to be up and down. So same thing, I might like to do kind of this grip, or you can just kind of cup kind of at the edges here, and you can go up. I have to relax a little bit. So you can go up like this, and then you can go down as well. This one's a little more tricky to get the idea. Sometimes people just notice that they're just kind of moving the skin more than the actual kneecap. But once you kind of figure it out, you'll feel it, and then they'll give you a good idea for the rest of the times that you do it. Usually this is most important, these mobilizations in the first week or two after surgery, when there's a lot of swelling um, going on, but can be beneficial to do past that time as well. But kind of the most important time would be those first one or two weeks after surgery. And same thing for this, you can do maybe 10 repetitions going up, 10 repetitions going down, but there's no real magic number. And then the last thing you can do is kind of a tilt of the kneecap. So tilting it both outward and inward. And so what I like to do with this is use my one hand as almost kind of a block. And then you're going to put 
this part of your thumb and hand right on the opposite side and you're just going to push kind of straight down toward the floor and you'll start to feel that if you don't do it with the block it's going to kind of slide away but if you have that block there you'll notice that you're able to tilt that opposite side of the kneecap up and then of course you can do it with the other side as well. So that's patella or kneecap mobilizations. You can do it in a chair, you can do it sitting, just as long as you're, um, or laying down I mean, or as long as those muscles are relaxed and you can move it freely, doing a number of repetitions a couple of times a day, usually on in those first few weeks, going side to side, up and down. And then you can also do the tilts as well. Thank you very much for watching. This has been patella or kneecap mobilizations, one of the special topic videos for the knee range of motion blueprint.